This video should be viewed as an adjunct to the one that Mark Castlehut from the Delphi Center did. Mark did a very nice job on his video showing step by step how someone should go about posting a syllabus on Blackboard. Now the problem is using Mark's technique, and it's not Mark's fault I should point out, if you use this technique you can't see the syllabus. So that leads us to the question why do you post it in the first place? Well, what the Delphi Center is doing is helping us meet a SACS requirement. All syllabi must be posted and what SACS is going to do is create a script or tweak a script that they get from Blackboard so they can go through and collect all the syllabi. They'll collect all the files and then we'll have all the files that we can then pass off to SACS and I guess they can spend the next couple years reading them. The trouble is though that you can't see those files. In other words, if somebody came to the website, like a student, like a parent, colleague, anybody else who had an, who was interested in viewing your syllabus for a course couldn't see it because the, the file can't be seen. And you're saying to me, well, wait a minute, what do you mean you can't see it? Well, let me show what I'm talking about. Okay, I called up a browser here. Now, I didn't log in yet. We're at Blackboard, but I didn't log in. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to come up here to Courses and Catalog, click on this, so I can go through and look at a syllabus. Let's say I want to look at one of the syllabi in the Communication Department. So I'm going to navigate to Communication, go into A&S, go on over here to Communication, and Communication 463 looks like an interesting course. I may want to take it, right? Okay, well there's John Frey teaching Religion and Media. Uh, John's an excerpt in both of those things. John also was the kind of person that would do this exactly the way he's supposed to. So let's take a look at his syllabus. We click on the course and there's the syllabus done exactly the way Mark told him to. And at least it's a name the way Mark told him to. Com is the name of the subject matter, the, sub, the, the course number, course section, and the code for the year, or for the term I should say, and then underscore syllabus.pdf. PDF is a fine file to put up there. You can put a DOC, a DOCX, PDF and TXT, maybe an RTF, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is certainly the, the way that you're supposed to do it. Let's take a look at John's syllabus. We click on it and we get, I'm using Chrome browser here, so I get an authentication required request. You'll get the same thing no matter which browser you're using. Well, that's not what we wanted. I wanted to see a syllabus. We can't see the syllabus. However, since the file is up there, the script that the Delphi Center will run, we'll still pick it up. So everything will be fine in that regard. But we can't see the syllabus. It seems to me that if you're going to post the syllabus, somebody should be able to at least see the syllabus. Okay, so what do we do? Well, let's call up another browser here. I've already logged into my Blackboard account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the syllabus both to satisfy SACS and so that somebody can actually see it if they have any desire to see what I'm doing in my class or to, if they have an interest in seeing do they want to take the class. All right, let's go to Communication 605-75. That's a class, Communication Theory. Okay, I click on that and get my shell. And in my shell, I can click over here to Syllabus and we'll see that there's nothing there. So I need to add my syllabus. I could read, or I'm sorry, I could view Mark's video and do it all the right way, but I already know how to do it, so I'll just go ahead and show real quickly what Mark told you to do. Okay, he said, go down here to build content, go to file, all right, and then browse on your computer, okay, and I'm going to go to my files. There's my file that I my syllabus is in. I'm going to open it, but I don't really open it. I just select it, and then I hit submit, and there is my syllabus. Same thing that John did, no doubt. So now I've got my syllabus up there, so I'm going to meet the SACS uh, requirement. However, can anybody see my syllabus? Well, let's go back over here to this other browser. Let's go to Communication 605. Let's go to Course ID. There it is. Just posted it. Let's look at it. And of course, we can't see it. Okay? Because there's a glitch. I want people to be able to see the syllabus. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Go back over to the browser where I'm going to load the syllabus in a different way. I'm going to leave the link here so Sachs will be happy. And let's go back to build content and click on item this time. 
Okay, so we get this text field down here. So we're going to come up here, give it a name. We'll just call it syllabus, which is a pretty exciting name. And then down here in the text field box, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just sit tight for a second. I'm going to go back over to my Word application, call up my syllabus. I've already, I've already done that, so I'm just going to cut and paste it now. I'm going to just copy it. Now I've got to copy it. I'll go back over to my browser that has the uh, Communication 605 course loaded, and I'm just going to paste it in there. So I've got it pasted in there. I just hit Control V to paste it in there. Now I'll hit Submit. And now you'll see that in addition to my syllabus, there's also going to be a discursive, here it is, version of my syllabus. Let's see if it works. Go back over to the other browser that we used a while ago. Click on my course ID again. Aha, there it is. There's the link, but the syllabus just pops up like it's it's like it's supposed to, and so now anybody that wants to can see what I'm doing in that class. This way we satisfy both people who want to see the course and see what you're doing and see if they want to take the course, but we're also going to satisfy the SACS requirement of having all our syllabus posted. So, hope it helps.